Okay guys, give you a little before update. Now, these are all of our parts that we've got, that we got out of our bucket. Now they did come off of that engine, okay? With the exception of these, this is the front axle off of the uh, snapper mower. This is the tie rod off the snapper mower. This right here is the torsion bar I was telling you about, or sway bar, or whatever. It's got the uh, belt guides. This is the old carburetor that came off of it. Carburetor parts. Breather cover, engine cover, throttle cover. Now this is the uh, chute off of the pull and push mower. We're going to put that back on there. And this is the battery box, all the wiring, and the uh, remainder of the wiring. All right, guys, just the before. Now y'all can go see the after. Hey, all right, guys. Here's the uh, finished product of what we're doing today. Um, it's just too hot out here. So here's the breather cover. All nice and clean. Okay. The uh, it's actually the muffler cover. Uh, top of the carburetor for the breather couple fuel lines sway bar torsion bar whatever the exhaust manifold um, air filter goes in there this sets down right inside there and the uh, wiring we rolled them up and uh, like I said uh, the uh, carburetors still clean but uh, there she is right there Very gunky looking. I did my best to get all that uh fucking seal off of there. Gasket. Yeah, damn bowl look at there. Needle jet or needle pen or what people like to call an injector. It's really not, but it does act as one. Let's see, maybe I can find it. I, I think I did. Here is your needle jet. And all that does is you see that little hook right there on her? inside it? You see that little that little groove in there? kind of hard to yeah we're gonna be facing up you see that little groove in there your little needle jet slides up in there like that okay and when the bowl when the bowl fills up your plunger or float will move up which will push this directly into the pinhole just for y'all, those, just for those of y'all that didn't know, um, I'm not calling anybody stupid. I'm just saying.
There's a lot of people out there that don't know, so I just want to let them know. And when I go to put it back together or rebuild the carburetor, I will let you, I will take a complete video of that. Now that carburetor is identical. I pulled that off of a a Poland uh, a Poland Pro uh, riding mower. Um, this was the original carburetor that was on that, and as you can see, holy shit. I don't even know what to think. Like, that damn thing was so fucking dirty. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, damn. We've got a pretty good number of parts here that has been cleaned up. So how about we go ahead and put our clean parts into our now, well, semi-clean bucket, I guess. These uh, bolts right here that y'all see... These two go into the carburetor. Now, obviously, we're not going to use this carburetor for this mower. We just wanted to get it cleaned out. The one that is on the mower will be the one that we do use, just so y'all guys know. Um, hope none of y'all are mad at me for not using the original, but the original is the same exact fucking carburetor I just put on that. So, I mean, hopefully y'all don't get mad about that, but, you know, even if you do, sue me. Um, okay guys, so let's get, well, well, actually, let's start with the wiring, and y'all can see, I just kind of roll those up in little coils, just so that way, nice and neat, out of the way, here's actually another one, and here's the, uh, fuel line clips, very, very sturdy, I like them when they're built like that, but, uh, yeah guys, that's what we got there, and these are just uh, a ground and a hot cable. This actually goes from the battery to the solenoid, not battery to starter. I've seen a lot of people, I've actually heard a lot of people, t they've told me, and then I have seen people run a long hot wire from the battery directly to the starter. Yes, guys, it can be done, because just like an old boy wanted to tell me, well... You, you, you take a pair of jumper cables, hook it to a truck battery, and then touch the starter. Yeah, that's a direct start. You burn your starter up doing that. That's why it's not good to direct jump your lawnmower off from the battery. That's why normally, how normal people or smart people do it is they put battery to battery and hit a fucking key. Okay, or to complete the circuit, they put a fucking screwdriver in between the goddamn solenoid posts okay when you hit that starter it is putting so much voltage through there which is what a solenoid is for is to bring that voltage down it will burn your starter up and then you got to go replace that and it's like a 75 dollar part depending on what size motor you got uh, it does work you know i'm not trying to be a hypocrite i've done it myself but i just you ought not do that um this is battery to solenoid, hot wire. The uh, little black one that I, where the fuck did I just do with it? Uh, got, I don't know what I just done with that little black one. But it, okay, anyhow, that little black one that's about three to four inches long. This is eight. This is a. Uh, this is eight inches. Okay, a standard ground wire is three to four inches long. That runs directly from the. Uh, uh, battery to the frame or solenoid to frame I've normally seen them on battery to frame okay now uh, there is a oh no 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 okay the ground wire goes to the second post hot wire on the other post and then they ground the solenoid to the frame okay um that hot wire that comes through, now you'll always see a little teeny red wire. That tiny red wire is what completes the circuit. That is your ignition wire. That runs straight to the ignition, so when you turn that key, it's the same as putting a screwdriver in between those. It is taking that and completing the circuit. It points two little points together, and you get spark, and it goes straight to the uh, ignition, um, and that's what turns your motor over, okay? If you don't have that little red wire, 
these are 12 gauge or 24 gauge go to your nearest hardware store or hell you can even go to Walmart they come in all different colors me personally I don't like red on red or I don't like black on red okay I would always keep the ignition hot wire red okay but th this is 24 gauge uh, wire you can buy a little spool of it at Walmart it's like seven bucks six ninety nine something like that okay um, uh, now I have seen people uh, I mean you could get it anywhere I mean take it out of something else or whatever but like I said brand new wire seven bucks Walmart really good deal okay guys so let's uh, go ahead and get this in here it uh, I believe it's starting to sprinkle it's another reason I want to get in I'm just gonna drop these bolts uh, in here with this uh, rubber gasket that I got because what it's for um, I always like to do this just so y'all know this is not motor oil that I put in uh, used motor oil you ever pulled the char the more charred the better believe it or not uh, the more burnt the better okay all these little bolts when I pull them out of here you're gonna see a complete difference all right y'all that's it for this I'm actually not gonna put this in there I am going to put this right here Okay, y'all don't let me forget that. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to put our, uh, you know, little fuel lines in there. Okay, and we're going to set torsion bar because it's the heaviest object. Okay, and then we will set buffer cover and whatnot in there. So that right there. <clears throat> Get this in there. Yeah, like I said, guys, all these parts right here have done been cleaned and went through, and that's what we're going to use, and now we're going to set the cover. Oh, man, check her out. Intake. Oh, guys, I was wrong. That's an 18 horsepower. Where the fuck did I get 12 and a half? Um, oh, and it is a uh, uh, AVS, um, which if y'all don't know, that's... Uh, anti-vibration system or service or or uh, let's see if it says it on here oh, it's anti-vibration I don't know what else it stands for but really good thing to have you know uh, yeah guys it, like I said it's starting to sprinkle so I'm actually gonna get on in the house but I uh, wanted y'all to see that right there all right cool beans brother um so there's all our parts. You know, and um, I hope y'all really like the new editing software that we have. Uh, I actually really do enjoy it. It's uh, a lot more simple to use than what we originally had. So, and we didn't get a chance to put the uh, shoot back on there. Some nigga rig bullshit like it. What can you expect? Here's the bolts to the uh, ride mower. But let's go ahead and get our push mower and we'll pick up our garbage. We don't want that in the ground. That's our little garbage box. You know, it does the job. You know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, let's get this uh, pulling push mower put back under here where she goes. Right on up on her new slab. Yeah, I bet you're going to like that. Let me get in here and grab uh, my sweet pea. Alrighty then, cool guy. Oh, shit. One more thing. Let's grab the uh, carburetor. And uh, stick him right there out of the weather. Alright, guys. So we got the uh, shop. They're all cleaned up. Back to normal. So let's get out here and uh yeah, there you go guys. I got the hood over there. I had to use the wheelbarrow the other day, but alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh we'll see you next time.
Okay, real quick. Here's the carburetor. It's not coming as clean as I would like it to fast enough. So I'll give y'all an update on this tomorrow. Um, for right now, I've been scrubbing on it a while. We're just going to let it set. But you can see the difference. The carburetor was in the same shape the bowl was. Float does wonders. Look at her. So, alright guys.